Hey everyone. I wanted to share a few thoughts on the subject of making short films and why I make short films. It's a question I've been asked a number of times by people I talk with about filmmaking is, you know, why do you make short films? Why aren't you making features? And I have a couple responses to that. Um, and I'm not really saying this in defense of my decision to make shorts. It's more just a, just a few thoughts on uh, why I do it, which is uh, probably the first thing is that it's what I can do. Um, you know, making short films has allowed me to keep making films and to try out a lot of new ideas, even when I haven't had a lot of, um, well, really any money or resources to spend on them. Uh, short films, um, I don't mean to suggest that making a good short film is somehow easier than making a good feature or uh, anything like that. It's just that the um, format, for me personally, I've kind of been able to make it work for me to do it on, on no budget or on a very, with a very um, limited amount of resources. So part of it is just a, 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 it's a personal thing. Um, but the other thing is that I, want, I wanted to um, share a little story uh, from about 15 years ago that um, kind of changed my thinking about short films. So I last, the last time I completed a feature length um, project was in 2003. And I had been working on that film for about three or four years already at that point. That's how long it took me to shoot it. And it took me another three years to edit it. So all told, I've spent about six or seven years um, working on this one project. And I learned a lot from it. In fact, I'm gonna talk about that in another video. That, that's kind of another story, but uh, I learned a lot, of, you know, a lot of things that I wanted to do again, but I also learned a lot of things that I did not want to do again. A lot of things, a lot of mistakes really that I didn't want to repeat. And one of the things that I learned about myself as a filmmaker from that experience is that I didn't want to spend that much time working on a single film. When I got to film school, um, I was, I sort of uh, rediscovered my love of the short film, of making, being able to make a film quickly and cheaply and to be able to get something, you know, have something to show for it. When I was, of course, much younger, just starting out, uh, I was making short films all the time. And then as I sort of started to gravitate towards thinking about features and the idea of making feature films, um, the, the number of movies that I was able to make really slowed down. And it got to the point, actually, where for a couple of years, I had two projects, two feature length scripts that I was trying to produce and actually began shooting footage for and then, and then the projects fell apart. So, you know, I felt like those um, represented kind of a, a wasted effort in some ways because I had nothing to show for it, if you see what I mean. So uh, when I got, as I say, I got into film school and by making short films for the introductory level uh, film production courses, it allowed me to kind of fall in love with a short again. And that was, you know, back in 2006, 2007. Um, so going back, you know, basically 15 years now. And ever, and, and since then, I've made almost, almost what, 30, I think it's 36 uh, short films since then. And the, that format of, of the short has, uh, has allowed me to explore a lot of ideas on on film that I might not have been able to do if I was waiting to be able to make features. Now I'm not arguing you that you know you should think of in terms of you know one is one approach is better than the other or you should do you know one instead of the other or anything like that. It's all about what's finding finding what's right for you. But uh, I guess I'm just offering these thoughts as a little defense of the short film and even as you um, you know, grow as a filmmaker and, and get a lot more experience under your belt, you may end up uh, still coming back to the shorts just because of what it allows you to do in that format. And I do think there are certain things, certain ideas or, or certain approaches that are really right for the short film. Um, one thing that I've, uh, one, one uh, style that's near and dear to my heart is, uh, is comedies. And I find that making uh, short comedies go over really well. I, I, I've had, you know, good experiences making those. Like the latest one that I did earlier this year was called Daydreams, which you can view 
on, on my other, my, my main YouTube channel. And that was, um, that was a really fun experience. It's the kind of movie I have a lot of, I get a lot of enjoyment out of making. And it seems like for the people who watched it, they enjoyed it too. So, uh, and it's a short movie. I think it's about three and a half minutes. So, uh, you know, very short, short. Uh, but, you know, I just mentioned this as uh, part of why I'm still drawn back to this format. And I don't think, you know, because I don't make films with any kind of commercial considerations in mind. I mean, I, I release them for free, putting them out online, you know, on, on YouTube now. Uh, I, I'm not thinking in terms of providing a finished, uh, you know, a, like a, a, commercially vi a film of a commercially viable length, like a feature that you might submit to festivals or try to get into some sort of commercial distribution. Uh, so for me, uh, because I'm not interested in that kind of commercial route, I have the luxury of continuing to make short films um, whenever I want to. Uh, one other thing I'll say about about shorts is that for a long time, and I think this is still probably true, that short, that short, especially short narrative films have a connotation of being uh, for filmmakers in training. You know, we think of them maybe as being film school projects. We think of them maybe as being first efforts, maybe something that plays in a limited number of festivals and then, you know, you go on to make features. But I, I think that that kind of dichotomy is outdated at this point. I mean, it might, you know, it may still exist in some, in some form, but I think it's important not to get too hung up on that because as we've seen, there's a lot of really interesting um, emerging filmmakers right now on YouTube who are making feature films, you know, as early, uh, their, their early projects. And there's really no reason why you can't do that either. So again, I'm not I'm not you know, arguing for one over the other or anything. I'm just saying that there is uh, always something you can learn from making films, whether it's a short or a feature or or whatever. Um, it can you know every project I think uh, can and should be viewed as a learning experience in some way. So I don't think that you know shorts necessarily have to carry this baggage anymore of being um, a calling card or. Um, you know, a, a project for, you know, for, uh, for filmmakers in training or that kind of thing. So anyway, those are just a few thoughts I wanted to get down for a video. Um, and I, in, the, in the future, on, in these videos, I hope to spotlight some of the interesting short films um, that I come across on YouTube. So look for those in the future, and I will talk to you soon.